Hey guys, it is no secret that I am obsessed with the new L'Oreal Infallible Pro Last Lip Colors. I already did a video talking about them and swatching them and I showed them to you in a video before that even, the ones that I had bought so far. Well, now <laughs> I have three more shades to show you. And I'm going to blame this on CVS because they keep giving me extra care bucks and then I justify my purchase by saying, oh well, I have this $5 off extra bucks rewards thing from CVS so I can get $5 off of it. But really what it boils down to is um, I'm obsessed. <laughs> so, so far in my YouTube videos I've worn the caramel color, the flamingo color, the candy color, and on my Instagram, I've posted pictures of me in the caramel color, the tea berry color, the rose color, and on my Instagram, I got a request. Someone said that they really wanted to see the very first shade that I bought that started this whole obsession. They wanted to see it on. So that's what I have on today. This is Never Ending Nutmeg. And so far I had only shown you the swatch of that. So this is Never Ending Nutmeg and it's one of those uh, shades that are really popular right now. Sort of um, brownish nude shade I'm gonna say and this one is a cream finish these come in all different finishes and I also did some swatches so there it is swatched right there it's just one of those dark nude shades that are so popular right now but this is what got me going on it now I do really like the way these look better without the second step but you kinda have to use that otherwise it's gonna your lips are gonna get so dry that the product is just gonna peel off so the concept on this is it's a two-step system and there's a bomb on the other side so you put the first side on let it dry it takes about two minutes and then if you want to you can add a second layer which is what I did today because I really love this color and I wanted it to be as I wanted it to be as much this color as possible and less about the color of my lips because my lips are nothing like this color but I thought this was such a pretty shade that I wanted to do a second coat so then when the second coat finally dried and I say finally because you know it's gonna take longer than usual for the second coat to dry because it's doubly thick on there but I added the balm and I looked at it and I was like, oh, it is such a shame that you can't use this without the balm because it, it does take away from the effect that you get to a certain extent, but I think it's, it's worth it though to be able to use it anyway. And some of them do have some shimmer to it. So I'm gonna show you the other three shades that I've purchased since I did that last video. Yeah, I've got nine of them now, which is absolutely ridiculous. Uh, yeah, I don't know why anybody would need nine of these, but anyway, the next one I'm gonna show you is Passionate Petal. And this is just a gorgeous, sort of, uh, mm, I'm gonna say maybe a corally pink with uh, no, no shimmer in this one. It's a cream. So it's a bright corally pink. I don't know. Do you see coral in that? Um, sometimes I feel like I'm so bad at describing colors, which is not good considering what I'm, what I do. <laughs> you need to be good at describing colors, but it's just, it's a bright pink with a cream finish. So that's Passionate Petal. And this is the one that I just got a few minutes ago. And the next one is Timeless Rose. And this, this is gorgeous. This is a light pink with shimmer in it. And it looks like the shimmer is gold. So that's Timeless Rose. I love this one. But keep in mind, the ones with shimmer aren't going to be as pigmented as the cream finish ones. So that's Timeless Rose. 
And then the last one is Permanent Blush. And this is, this is an even lighter pink with gold shimmer in it. The shimmer on this one is really subtle though, but I can see it if I look at it really closely, but it looks like more of a cream finish, but it's not. It's just got, the shimmer is just really finely milled and not as noticeable, but it could pass for a cream finish. So as you can see, these are gorgeous, gorgeous colors, and that's why I just couldn't stop. <laughs> I'm thinking, I'm realizing how ridiculous this sounds. Yeah, I just couldn't stop at the six that I had and had to get three more shades, so never-ending nutmeg. This is what started it all, started the obsession, so I think I'm done now. I, th I don't think I have to have any more, but then again, you know, CVS just keeps giving me these extra care bucks and I mean how can I just you know pretend that I don't have that I guess I could get something else huh instead of these <laughs> um, one thing I wanted to mention about these is that there are a ton of shades that don't seem to be in stores so the only way you would be able to get those shades would be to order online um, I think you can order directly from L'Oreal and Target is carrying all the shades. I think they have about half the shades in the store and then the other half you would have to order online. But there is a way to get those those shades that aren't in stores. And like I said, it's about half the shades that are available. So if I just stick to the ones that are in stores, there's only three more then that I haven't gotten. Not to say that I'm going to actually get more, but you never know with me. I, I really, I don't need any more of these. Nine is sufficient. So yeah, I just wanted to show you these shades swatched and describe them to you. And um, if you want to see more like lip of the day lip swatches and things like that, I do a lot of that kind of thing on my Instagram. And I'm the real Mrs. The Doll on Instagram. If you uh, want to, you can just go to my channel page. <clears throat> Excuse me. And there is a link that you can just click on the link if you want. But yeah, these are fantastic. I love them. Can't get enough. And that's it for today, you guys. Just a quick video to show you the three additional shades that I've purchased of the new L'Oreal Pro Less. Bye. <laughs>